Water rehabilitation is an important issue because water is an essential part of life. Not only the quantity, but also the quality. It's important in Europe because water is not restricted to one country. Climate change will put increased pressure on uh, the water as a resource. The first thing, of course, is always avoid new pollution. And the second thing is to take care of pollution that's already there. It's very important to know what the uh, sustainability is of a certain technology with respect to removal of the pollutants. And if you want to assess that, you need models. We do not only want to study the rehabilitation technologies and improve them, but uh, we go a step further and we want to include the impact of these technologies uh, in river basin management. So we want to estimate their impact not only in time, but also in space. The AgriHub Consortium is a multidisciplinary team uh, with 19 partners from 12 different countries. There are technology developers, there are also modelers, experts from groundwater as well as surface water field. I'm a professor in environmental microbiology. I'm an independent consultant and working in soil remediation and investigation. I work for the University of Stuttgart. I'm from the University of Copenhagen, I belong to the Department of uh, Geography and Geology. I'm a professor at the Ben Gurion University of the Negev in Israel. I'm working at Vito in Belgium. You have to rely on the experimental results on the one hand and then the experimental people should trust your model in order to predict what is going to happen. That's a challenge because you we don't speak the same language necessarily and so you have to learn to speak the same language between modelers and people that do experiments in the lab. We selected five innovative rehabilitation technologies for a detailed study. All these five technologies, they are in situ remediation technologies, where you avoid as much as possible pumping. This results in technologies that do not consume so much energy and have a low maintenance cost. On the other hand, these technologies have a higher invest, initial investment cost, and that's why there is a barrier for the implementation of these technologies. And with all the work that we are doing within Aqua Rehab, we try to lower this barrier so that these innovative technologies can really come to innovation, can be applied in real life. In the frame of Aqua Rehab, our work package aimed at developing a technology uh, to biodegrade contaminants, especially pesticides. So the technique we developed is that capping of that uh, sediment. So what we do is, um, yeah, the idea is that we will put a cap on top of the sediment and in that cap there will be organic matter and uh, the bacteria will use that organic matter, matter as food, let's say, and while they are growing on this organic matter they will degrade the chlorinated compounds. We're looking into serovalent ion which can be injected in the subsurface. What we're doing, if we inject it, we can actually go into a building. We can go in the basement of a building, we have to, maybe if it's a factory, we have, may have to remove a couple of machines, put them on the side. We drill right between the machines through the, through the soil, or through the floor, and we inject our particles right into the, into the what we call source. Well, our package one goes about uh, repairing zones, and repairing zones actually kind of buffer zones which are installed between agricultural land and the river bodies. You have to be, to be honest enough to say, well, this technology is okay, okay for this contaminant or this group of contaminants for these types of soil, but it's not a methodology that, or a technique that cleans up everything. If you don't need that much energy, it's cheaper. And if you don't have to remove things, it's better. I'm confident that we can come up with, with a kind of framework on which other uh, research groups or other stakeholders or water managers can work further. It's not just science for the sake of science. There is a lot of um, um, emphasis on the uh, applicability of the techniques that we are developing. Interaction between all these yeah, partners with different background is really an added value um, and it's very inspiring. We're educating a group of young people who eventually will, will go out and, and be in a consulting company or in the administration and, and they will know 